is up guys welcome to esc kicks right now i'm just came out of school and i'm gonna go pick up the new yeezys i got a pair at my local foot locker so i'm gonna be going right now to foot locker and picking up my yeezys i'll probably go eat and i'll show you guys i'll do a little vlog type i know probably some of you guys like it some of you guys don't but let's see how it goes and then i'll do an unboxing on for review and my honest opinion on the new yeezy v2 triple whites all right so catch you guys later and i'll be with you guys back when i'm at, at the mall in five four three two i'm at foot locker right now pick up my first pair let's go first pair down and let's say i got no surprise to another pair. i just took my foot action too so that's the, my second pair what is up guys welcome back i'm back in my house and i'm here to give you guys an unboxing and my honest opinion and review of the new yeezys all right i said when i made the top 10 video i promise you i'll try my best to buy all the temp shoes and i bought one out of the 10 and i saw the pantone sevens and i am gonna buy them probably today sunday i'll probably buy them today if not i'll buy them for sure by the end of next week and i'll give you guys a review of that one too uh they're gonna be pretty slept on i'm not gonna lie i know they're gonna sit and i know they're probably gonna go sell but i want to give you guys a review of it just because i promised you guys so let's get to the easy 350 triple y or cream how we call it all right guys here i got my two creams and they're both size Ten and a half. You guys can see it. Ten and a half. All right, they're both ten and a half, but I'm open just one for the sake of it, and I don't want to ruin both boxes. So let's go with the first. All right. This is my first time opening. It. Awesome. I've waited a whole day to open this. Uh, yesterday night it was Saturday, and I I got busy, and right now we got them watching the basketball game. So here we have it. Three fifty. We all know the iconic. V2 box. Okay, these are clean. These are very, very clean. Oh. Alright, so here I have the two Yeezys, which I'll show you in five, four, three, two. Alright, here we have the Yeezy V2. Um, yeah <laughs> sorry here we have the easy v2s um they're in all white cream colorway uh the sole reminds me of the zebra ones so it went from zebra to albino so the sole i don't know how the camera catches it but here like there's where the where the plastic meets is like a little bit more yellowish compared to the rest of the sole that's something really cool um the boost we have the classic easy boost adidas boost um, prime that upper the heel tab back tab whatever you guys want to call it uh, one thing I do know so I'll show you guys right now uh, here this is where the line runs and he, um, I don't know how you can see on camera but in person you guys can see uh, this is a different material and here the line that like, you can see the line very subtle um, you can see kind of the supply 350 like not like I want to say almost engraved uh, like I'm pretty, I'm 100 percent sure the camera's not gonna catch it, but in real life, how, if you have the lightning correct, uh, you guys could see it. It's very, very faintly. Like it's not the most visible thing. It's not gonna pop your eye, or it's not gonna come out there like the other V2s that like it's right there. No, it's very subtle, but you could find it. It is there. All right. So let's get to the review of it. All right. So my honest opinion is that. These are very clean shoes. Very, they're very clean. All right, that's literally all I could say to it. Um, I'm not the biggest easy. I'm not the biggest hype beast there is. Oh, probably I am, but I'm not the biggest easy hype beast that I'm gonna buy everything easy. No. Uh, they're really simple. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say. These are very simple. All right, they're gonna be great summer shoes, great spring shoes. Yes, they are. Uh, very good for shorts with joggers, whatever you guys wanna wear. I will not wear this with dark denim because they will bleed onto it. But yeah, they're very clean shoes. The quality is is all right. You know, it's not bad. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. But it's not the greatest quality. All right. But I mean, this quality with Yeezys, right? It's just. Literally a cloth with a sole on it. Yeah. 
But yeah, the shoe itself, it looks very nice aesthetically. Like, I can see why it's very aesthetically pleasing. I mean, how it shapes um, this way. But, like, for me to wear, like, I just not a, not, that, not a big fan of it, you know. I will probably wear it, uh, probably eventually, maybe today. Depends what I end up doing today. But, yeah, these shoes are very dope. Um... One thing I do want to see with them is the UV light, the black light. I want to see how they look with this. I need to go get a black light for it first. So I probably will not see it today or soon because I do not know where they saw black light. All right. But yeah, I got these both for retail. Both pairs I got for retail. So I ended up paying like for 40 plus tax, which would be like $40. Like around four eighty dollars for both of them, and the reason on these is looking like a median of like five fifty is like an average price. You know, I see some selling cheap like for four eighty five hundred, and there's just some ones that are charging six hundred. So like the mediums like five forty five fifty is like the median you could get a pair of these for. Are they worth the five hundred dollars if you guys buy them resell? No, they are not worth the resell price. These are not worth that. I am. Like, I don't even think these are worth the retail price, honestly. There's really no branding on it. I mean, like, when you get a pair of these or you, or just in general, you you spend a lot of money on sneakers, you want it to to show that it's that it's a, either a collaboration or it's a good brand. But, like, with these, like, I could just see so many fakes of these coming out already. Like, I can imagine the Chinese sweatshops already, like, getting pictures of these and starting to make them and start shipping them out, too. Because, I mean, these are going to be very easy to replicate, all right? Like I said, they're very, they're good because they're, they're just all white. Like, if someone, like, that's not really into sneakers or, like, someone into sneakers and sees them on the street, they're just going to think it's some other kind of shoe, like... You don't really see that it's a easy. You don't really have the easy branding on it. So that's one thing that I don't like about the shoe. Not that I'm a hype piece. I'm just saying that it's not really worth the price for it. It's just an all white sneaker. Uh, if you guys are into all white sneakers, then I suggest you guys just wait up till May and get the get the pure money for it. I mean, these are all white sneakers, but I mean, at least you know it's branding. You get me? It's an all white sneaker. It's very dope, very beautiful. But you guys know what you guys are buying with this. With this, it's like they're dope and all, but it's just the hype honestly it's just the easy hype you know if these were not easy if these were for example all white adidas tubular whatever shadows the, these will sit because these are very easy to get dirty very hard to clean the cloth i don't even know if you can clean the cloth the prime i'm probably gonna spray with a bunch of crap protect before i walk out of them but yeah that's just me that's my personal opinion and yeah that's that's it there's nothing much more to say they're clean they're really nice aesthetically looking they're aesthetically pleasing but if it's these or these i suggest go with these you know not because i love jordan more it's just that these are not that nice all right so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up share this video with your friends and most of all thank you guys for supporting bye bye